Hi, welcome to Copenhagen. Thanks for dropping in. Hope everybody is doing well. Today I am unboxing a diamond painting from a company in Germany who are totally new to me and they are called Carrot.Art. So a few weeks ago I was contacted by Alexander who told me that he had a diamond painting company and he was based in Germany and they had seen uh, some of my diamond painting unboxings and they asked if I was interested in doing an unboxing um, of one of theirs so that people could see um, what they produce and uh, I'll talk a little bit about them um, because they are a little bit different from a lot of uh, diamond painting companies so I um, contacted them I, I said yeah I'm interested so I had a look at their website and the thing that caught my attention and this is the thing that makes them a bit different from a lot of uh, diamond painting companies is they have a dedicated section for licensed artists I know some companies do but a lot of companies don't so Carrot Art have dedicated artists who only produce artwork for them and they have quite a few artists. So that was the section that caught my attention straight away and I went straight into that and started browsing through. <clears throat> Sometimes when I order a diamond painting it's just because I like the image. As simple as that. Other times there is a reason behind it and this one has a reason behind it so this is what arrived all the way from Germany um, packed in uh, brown paper which is a bit different um, most diamond painting companies you get your diamond painting in a plastic bag um, so a little bit different so we'll get straight into it I keep talking about getting sharper scissors. I will do it eventually. I only remember when I start opening things. So, just brown paper wrapping, and as you can see, the diamond painting is boxed. So, comes in pretty sturdy box. Um, Let's just switch this overhead light off just now. It's a bit better. So here we go. Uh, let the pleasure begin. Carrot dot art. Piece by piece, just you and your masterpiece. So totally new company to me. Um, I've never seen any of their uh, kits before. So quick look at the box and see what it says. DIY art kit elements, relax while being creative, high definition printed canvas, state of the art diamond drills, pick and drop accessories for drills, diamond sorting tray and wax pad. Now you'll see um, the text is in English and German, um, they are a German company. Um, if you go to their website um, at www.carrot.art I don't know if anybody uses www. anymore but carrot.art when you go there um, you may find it's in German all you have to do is go up to the menu and you can see uh, you can switch it to English so the website is in German and English uh, which is quite handy for the rest of us who don't speak or read German um, just the, the usual not to three uh, choking hazard warning. Don't let little kids chew drills. Not a good idea. Then on the side of the box we have instructions. So we have four, five, six. Six steps on how to diamond paint if you are totally new. Again in English and German. And that is pretty much it. So we'll get the, the blunt scissors back in action. 
I really need to remember to get scissors. Hopefully, I won't have much problem with this. So, I just noticed I didn't look at the end of the box. There is actually a thumbnail on the end. So, if you're a person who um, has a stash, it can come in handy. Um, I can't get it far enough away. But this is the thumbnail. We'll have a look at it um, once I open the box. So it is a 50 by 75. Okay, first impressions is the canvas is pretty nice. Um, <coughs> it's not just your basic uh, canvas. So before I have a look, I think we'll do the usual and we'll have a look at the toolkit and the drills. Um, as I said, I've, I've never, um, I had, to be honest, I had never even heard of this company. So I was uh, very interested in uh, seeing what they produce, how everything comes. I really enjoy um, unboxing kits from companies that I've never tried before. Um, I think it's, it's always good to let people see what to expect from any company. So uh, we'll have a look at the toolkit. So pretty big resealable bag. Um, we get a blue diamond painting pen. Um, pretty standard. I think I'll actually try the light again. So pretty standard blue pen, single placer, just normal uh, diamond painting pen, and uh, not a lot else I can say about that to be honest. So next thing is tweezers, uh, very nice tweezers. This is my favourite style. Um, very sharp very strong and um, they are steel they're not um, the tin um, some kits you get um, very soft tin tweezers um, which easily bend and they're not that good for, well I don't find them that good for picking up drills I prefer uh, ones like these uh, nice and strong very pointy and it comes with a little cap which is very important because they are extremely sharp and you seriously could uh, injure somebody pretty badly with these things and definitely not something you want to leave lying around for the kids to pick up. So good set of tweezers and we also get a squidgy which goes over the pen. Um, again not all companies supply these and the idea is it makes the pen a bit thicker and uh, makes it a bit more comfortable to hold a little bit of cushioning rather than just a hard uh, straw so it can be more comfortable over a long period of time uh, it saves a little bit of wear and tear on your, your fingers so squishy for the pen then we have blue wax for a change most companies it's pink wax but they do blue and uh, comes in a little tub which is handy keeps it nice and clean stops uh, any dust getting into it and helps prevent it drying out as well so handy little thing then we have a tray So white tray, um, a bit bigger than the usual ones and the big thing is it has square sides. So <coughs> the sides are straight which means if you're diamond painting and you accidentally touch the side it doesn't flip over. Um, the sort of normal ones that you get or the ones that you get most 
have angled sides and if you have your drills in there and you accidentally bump the side um, I mean I had to press reasonably hard to get that to flip but if it has angled sides you will find that just touching it it will flip over and the drills go on your picture, they go on the floor, whatever. It is very very annoying. So really nice to see uh, straight sides. The tray is a bit wider as well so you can get more drills on it. Um, when you're putting drills in trays don't try and pile in as many as you can. You want to um, let them spread out. Um, I've actually done a video about that, why you want them spread out and how you get them to flip over the right way. So I'll stick a link up, a link, yep, a link up here uh, if anybody's interested in seeing that. So I was going to say that's it, but I can hear clink clink, so it isn't quite. So we get two multiplacers, um, small one and slightly bigger one. So for anybody who's doing a diamond painting that has a lot of the same colour in one area um, you can fill these with pink wax and you can put down a row of drills at a time which makes it faster than using a single place of pen. So I've heard, um, I personally have never used them. Um, I prefer to place the drills singly. Uh, but that's just me. So, but if you want to speed things up a bit you can use the multiplacers. So that is it, that is the, the tool bag. Move that out of the way. <clears throat> then we'll have a look at the drills and you can see already we have uh, ABs, Aurora Borealis. So the, the bag they come in is a bit thicker than the usual ones, a bit stronger, but it opens the same. Uh, it has the glue strip along the side. Just tip it out. And there we go. Uh, that's carrot B3772. Obviously that is the reference for this particular picture. Now the first thing that I noticed apart from uh, the ABs was um, the drills come in resealable bags. Now I have done a video about this as well, the packaging that different companies do. For me, the resealable bags are the best. Um, the reason for that is if you are totally, I'm just looking at these ABs, they've caught my attention. Um, if you're totally new to diamond painting and you don't have any kind of diamond painting accessories, particularly storage, um, this is perfect because you can work from these bags. All you do is open the bag, pour some drills in your tray, use what you need, pour the rest back in the bag, seal it, and that's it. And then you move on to the next one. The only thing is, make sure that you put them all in a numerical order. It makes it easier to find them. So, uh, round drills. And as I said, these are ABs. Just uh, giving the bags I'll squeeze it to see if the drills move. Now, if you look at this, the drills look as if they're all clumped together. I doubt that is the case. What we need to do is, you see they all fell there. When I open the bag, it lets some air in. Um, sometimes what happens is it's they're almost vacuum sealed when they're in the bag. And they can look as if they're clumped. But you can see now, totally free moving. So no oil from machinery or anything like that. Drills are absolutely fine. Um, just having a look at the actual drills. I can't see any problems with that at all. Um, the number here is a DMC code, 745. So if you have a, a kit from any other company or, or more from this company and you have a bag that says 745, it will be this colour. So the DMC is a specific number for a specific colour rather than yellow. There are so many shades of yellow, so many shades of orange, uh, red, whatever. Um, and each shade has a number. So when you finish, if you've got spares left, you can keep them. The bags are already numbered, so you don't need to number them. And if you were doing a, a kit in the future, you were using round drills 
and you would use them 745s and you were short you could find your bag 745 with the spares and you can use them so it's really handy but the main thing is they're in bags um, so much easier and it means if you're totally new you don't need to rush out and buy um, any kind of storage because this is it. all you need is a DMC number and um, a resellable bag and they're decent sized bags as well um, you can get plenty of drills in these I was just wondering if I have uh, a lot of any particular colour but it doesn't look like it um, I just wondered if you get a larger bag or if you just get maybe two bags but there are quite a few colours in this one so I don't think I've got a huge amount of any one particular colour this one is nearly full but yeah I'm just having a quick you see if you look at these you might think they're the same colour but they aren't 3776, 3778 so that's what I mean by various shades of the same colour it's really important to have the DMC code and then that one's a bit more um, pinkish than this one but there are, I can see there are a lot that are very similar and you'll find out why when you see the picture I mean these are all uh, these three in particular a lot of similar colours so DMC codes are very important and um, this is what caught my attention again maybe switch the light off these ABs uh, they're really nice not sure exactly where they fit in in the picture but um, they're really nice because they're sort of green, blue, purple depending on how the light hits them and that's that's why people like ABs ABs are normally used just to give small highlights um, normally it's not huge sections it's just the occasional ones scattered through really really nice effect you give an extra bit of sparkle there are some uh, red ones 666 number of lava red the official colour for this is lava red so it's always 666 this is 666 AB 666 Aurora Borealis which means it has that coating and on the reds it, it makes it sort of uh, yellow purple and it, it does change depending on how the light hits these um, they, they will change colour again that's a nice little effect um, a lot of people like ABs so just randomly picking up bags but I can tell the drills are absolutely fine no problems at all uh, quite a lot of colours in this I don't know how many actually so what we need to do is look at the key okay this is the easiest to read key I have ever seen um, the numbers and the symbols are huge so no problems trying to read them um, yeah nothing I can say is, I mean it's really easy to read which is really nice um, so the product name this is the thumbnail now you see it better here and it's called Das Boot uh, which means the boat and it's by an artist called Simon Treadwell now when I was looking through the licensed artwork I saw this one and I saw the boat it made me smile because when I moved from Scotland to uh, Copenhagen we're on an island Copenhagen is the capital city of Denmark but we're not on mainland Denmark we're on an island called Zealand and there are lots and lots of boats so um, we go out for walks a lot and uh, have a look at all these nice boats and one year um, I think it was Christmas was coming up and my wife had said to me what do you want for Christmas this year and I said a boat and 
she looked at me and she said a what i said a boat she said a what i said a boat she said ah a boat because when i speak normally without thinking about it i don't pronounce the t so i would call it a boat which she found highly amusing so then it became a standing joke um what do you want for christmas a boat what do you want for your birthday a boat so finally i've got my boat so that was the the reason i mean i like the picture it's a nice uh, sunset i think um with a, a boat on the sand and a seagull sitting on it um i just like the colors i like the image and i really like the fact that it's licensed artwork and Simon Treadwell is, is being um, recognised for his artwork and he will also get something from the sale of uh, his picture, each picture, which is really nice. Um, I really like that, rather than companies who just take pictures from places and use them uh, without any permission. So uh, really nice to see that. Uh, I know there are now quite a few companies starting to do this. But um, Carrot Art have uh, quite a few uh, artists who are um, purely uh, doing stuff for them, which is really nice to see. It's nice to see that they're, they're making that effort to get licensed artwork and they're not just spinning out the same old pictures that you find on a lot of uh, company websites. So that is uh, the picture, the boat by Simon Treadwell. So now uh, I'll move these drills out of the way and we'll have an actual look at the canvas. As I said, um, it is not your standard canvas. I'll have a look, closer look once I've uh, carefully placed these on the floor without bursting any open, hopefully. Uh, not a good thing to pop open bags. So, just being a bit careful. And I have one drill that's escaped. So, now it's time for the big reveal. So, again, let the pleasure begin. Carrot art. And you can see. Um, why there are so many colours that look similar. Again, I think I'm going to switch this light off. I don't know if it helped that much. But a relatively big diamond painting. And again, we have the key on the side. Um, very big print. So nice and easy to read. We've got the numbers, so I don't have to write the number beside them because I actually work by numbers. So we have 55, uh, we have 55 colours in this picture. So we have, uh, I think it's a sunset, could be a sunrise, but I think it's a sunset. And we also have a lighthouse here. And then we have, the seagull sitting on the boat, which is sitting on the beach. So, as I said, the canvas is a bit different. A bit of close up. So you can see it's, it's got the sort of wavy edges, little holes. This stops it from uh, from the the fibres. Uh, starting to break up so it keeps it all nice and neat and clean uh, the canvas is actually pretty soft pretty thin it's definitely different um, I don't know exactly what it's made of but it is uh, yeah it is different it's, it's not your basic uh, canvas so have a look at the actual print. It's pretty soft, the canvas. Um, it bends really easily. Which, uh, which is nice. It's not all stiff and starchy. And it's poured glue as well. So 
maybe move this light over a bit and the problem is not getting the reflection so just having a look at the actual print um, it is very clear very clear so no misprints, double prints, faded prints, nice and sharp, everything's perfect. A close up look at the seagull. You see there's uh, quite a lot of colour in here. So that's why it has 55 colours, but a lot of them are various shades of yellow and sort of peach colour. Um, yeah, really nice. Um, a little thumbnail again so you get an idea. And they have the key on either side. So it doesn't matter which side you're working on, the key is going to be nearby. But you can also use the paper key as well. Big thing though is do not let the paper key touch the glue. Um, if it does that, paper will stick and you will ruin this and then you will have to get um, the paper off the glue so always keep paper away from exposed glue and as I said it's poured glue and I know that because we have a clear cover if I peel it back you can see the shine so no problems at all with air bubbles, creases, anything like that. Um, that is the big advantage of poured glue. So that looks really nice. So that is it. Uh, my first unboxing from Carrot.apt in Germany. Um, I didn't mention how they actually came to be. Um, it was actually... <clears throat> the family uh, were doing puzzles and stuff during the first uh, COVID lockdown and they stumbled, they were looking for things to do to pass the time um, while they were in lockdown and they stumbled upon a uh, diamond painting and they started to uh, buy from different companies and they found that the, the quality wasn't always that great and they started to think about uh, doing it themselves to try and improve things and they uh, got in touch with friends and it's, they are based in Germany but they got in touch with friends got them interested in diamond painting and then they started talking to each other and the idea of carrot art came about so um, they had friends in uh, Switzerland, Poland and Scandinavia and they all started talking to each other and eventually um, it turned into Carrot Art. And again, the thing that I'm really impressed with, with is the fact that they are actively seeking artists um, who will, who will uh, have their, their artwork converted into diamond paintings which are exclusive to Carrot Art which I think is really, really cool. Um, it was nice to see artwork that I've never seen before. Um, it's always nice to, to get that. Um, sometimes when you're browsing diamond painting websites, you you can, or I can definitely, get a bit bored seeing the same th pictures coming up again and again and again and again. Um, but as I said, there are some companies who do licensed artwork and uh, Carrot Art are definitely one of them. And as I said, it's not just one artist, they actually have quite a few and they're planning to add more. So um, for me, that is a big thing. New artists, new artwork, it, it gives us a bigger choice of things. Uh, and I'm sure if you browse, you're going to find something that appeals to you. It may not be the boat, um, but as I said, that was a... A personal thing it made me smile when I saw it and I thought yeah I have to get a boat so now I've got one so that was carrot.art and um, all the way from Germany um, a relatively new company um, the idea came about 
at the beginning of the, the first lockdown, the first COVID lockdown. Um, I think they are doing extremely well. Um, as I said, when I went on the website, the first, the very first thing that caught my attention was licensed artists. Um, I really like that idea. Um, that the people who do the artwork are actually um, getting the, the acknowledgement, they get the name mentioned, and more importantly, they get some money. Um, and as we all know, money is what makes the world go round. And I feel that if artists are seeing that they actually can make some money from diamond painting artwork, um, it, it's going to increase the the variety for us, and that can't be a bad thing. Um, Carrot Art already have quite a few artists. I had never seen any of the pictures before, and that is because they are exclusively licensed to Carrot Art. Um, so it, there is a lot to read on the website as well. Um, I would definitely recommend that you go and have a look. Um, you'll you'll read the whole story about how Carrot Art came to be, what their their goals are, what they're aiming for, um, their their thoughts on licensed artists, um, all all that sort of stuff. Um, so, as I said earlier, they they had started realizing that not all companies are equal and the quality of some companies is, is pretty poor and they thought why don't we uh, try and do our own thing and they are really pushing the license thing and uh, as I said that's the thing that really caught my attention so I'm really pleased to see um, a, a new company starting off with that sort of idea they, they have a definite vision and uh, they are definitely heading in the right direction so um, if you want to have a look at artwork that you probably have never seen before uh, regarding diamond paintings, um, you can have a look at carrot.art. I will put a link in the description. Um, just a, a quick review over it. Um, the, the kit, standard pen with a squidgy and two multiplacers. Um, the tray... I really like the tray because it has the straight sides. If you are using uh, trays with angled sides, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. You just basically look at it the wrong way and it flips over. Um, it is very annoying. So it's nice to see the straight edges. It makes the tray a bit more uh, stable. And that is definitely a good thing. Um, the tweezers are the style that I use. Um, they are made of steel. They are sturdy, they aren't the tin sort of bendable, flexible ones um, that just don't work as well, in my opinion. Um, I, I now use tweezers um, all the time. I use tweezers for round, I use tweezers for square. I've been doing that for quite, quite a while now. And I've found out that I've actually managed to convert some people. Um, some people have actually taken the step and they've moved from using a diamond painting pen to using tweezers and they are actually enjoying it so thanks for uh, getting back to me uh, about that so it's nice to know that people are trying it um, I know that some people will try it and just uh, it's not for you um, I honestly never thought I would use tweezers I tried them a long time ago I lost the drill and just didn't look at them for a long long time but now I use tweezers all the time and this is the sort of style that I use. Uh, they are definitely my favourite um, style of tweed. Um, blue wax uh, comes in a little tub, keeps it nice and clean, keeps the pet hairs, keeps the dust, all that stuff off it, which is nice as well. You don't want any of that on your uh, wax because it affects the stickiness for picking up the drills. Um, the canvas, I still haven't decided what it's actually made of um it is thin it's not it's not a heavy canvas um but it, it's well made um the the poured glue is perfect um no problems at all with the the print quality 
Um, I'm just looking at it again. I didn't realise how much of the same sort of colours are in this. Um, I think it's going to look really, really nice. I'm still trying to figure out where those uh, ABs that I really like are going to go. Um, I can't figure it out. But it will appear on the wall behind me. Um, it will appear up on this side, I've decided. Um, at some point when I get around to doing it, and uh, you'll be able to see it in all of its glory then. So I think that's pretty much it. I, I don't think I've missed anything. Um, the key, as I said, um, that is the largest print of a key that I have ever seen. Um, even on the canvas, the key is nice and big. I have had kits in the past where the keys are very, very small and it is a struggle to try and read them. So uh, no problems at all with this one. Um, I should also mention um, the Carrot Art also sell diamond painting accessories. So it's not just diamond paintings, um, they sell accessories as well. So that might be something that you want to have a look at. And I would just like to say thanks again uh, to Carrot Art for asking me to do a review. Um, I did not pay uh, for the diamond painting. I paid the postage, so I sort of chipped in a bit. But um, when, I, when I get people or companies asking if I would do a review, if they send me a diamond painting, they don't know what I'm going to say. I don't know what I'm going to say. Um, because I open it up, you see me opening it, I've never seen what's inside the box or anything before, and I just talk about what I find and what I think of what I find, and it's just my honest opinion. Um, nothing, they don't tell me to say anything, I wouldn't do that. Um, I know that some people seem to think that if people get stuff sent to them, they automatically give them a good review. Um, that is definitely not the case. I don't see the point of doing that. If I was doing a, an unboxing and I held up the print and it was all blurry or, or double printed or faded or whatever, um, and, I, and I said oh, the print's perfect, um, it's obvious it isn't. So um, I just say things as I see them. And if, if companies accept that, um, which Carrot did, um, all the companies that, that, that have sent me stuff, um, they all know it's just, okay, I'll do a review, but I don't know what I'm going to say and I can't guarantee it's always going to be good. So that's just how it goes. Um, for me, the advantage of the whole thing is it gives people a chance to have a closer look at uh, diamond paintings from any specific company. So if you see an unboxing, you can say, right, okay, if I buy from them, say Carrot Art, for example, you know that you're going to get bagged drills. They're going to be labelled and then resellable bags, which if you are new and don't have any storage systems, could actually be a big deal um, because it's very easy to work from bags that are labelled. and. Again, as I said, I've done a video about it, talking about the way that different companies bag and the sort of pros and cons. So uh, there is a video out there about that. And that's, again, just purely my personal opinion. Um, it's like everything, people have got different opinions about different things. But hopefully when I'm talking about stuff, it, people can see that, that what I'm saying, I'm trying to be as, as open as possible. So uh, that's it. I just thought I'd mention that because um, I don't like the idea that people think, oh, he's getting a free diamond paint, so he's going to say it's great. Um, that isn't the point of me doing these things. It's not so I can get free diamond paintings. It's because I'm genuinely curious about the different companies and which ones do things uh, the way that I like them. I like to find the good companies. And the only way to do that is to get diamond paintings. So um, that's it. So that's it for today. Uh, as I said, I'll put a link to uh, the website in the description. You can have a look. They also have little videos. Um, if you're new to diamond painting, they have little educational videos. They have a blog. They have 
there's a lot to see it's not just like a catalogue of diamond paintings it's like okay here we are here's the diamond paintings buy them and um, obviously they want you to buy them but there is a lot more in it they are very focused on what they're doing and i like that as well you can tell there's a passion behind it it's not just pile them up and sell them um, that they are spending a lot of time putting things together taking time to do little videos and that sort of thing uh, which I re really like um, to buy from people who are genuinely passionate about the hobby um, I, I like that sort of thing so that's it for today um, if you enjoyed the video uh, minus the, the sort of rant at a tangent um, at the end there um, if you enjoyed the video and you would like to see more unboxings, unbaggings, comparisons just little things that I think about and then suddenly I decide to make a video um, sorry sometimes they're a bit sorry off the wall um, but again it's a diamond paint every day and some days it's a lot every day um, and I really really enjoy it and I always think about beginners when I do these videos I'm always thinking about beginners and that's why I go over the same things again and again and again because somebody could have just dropped into this video for the very first time and not know anything about diamond painting hopefully it gave them some things to think about so that is it this time in the meantime take care be safe and wash your hands <laughs>